Hi, my name is Andreas Hens and I make videos on IT service management. Today I want to talk about the seven guiding principles of the IT infrastructure library. What are the seven guiding principles? The seven guiding principles is some kind of general wisdom that can be applied in any situation in IT service management. And these principles are so general, they can also be applied in other management disciplines. The first principle is called focus on value. Value is a central term in the ITIL terminology and value is created for customers and also for the organization, for the service provider. And you should take care that every action that you take is always focused on the value. Providing value is the important thing and anything else should be left out. The next principle is called progress iteratively with feedback. This is something that has been known for a long time also in project management. Because in the past there were sometimes projects that lasted a very long time and these projects came back to their customers after maybe three or four years and then they found out that what they had developed didn't suit in any way what was requested. And so the advice that we have in this uh, principle here is that you should always proceed in little steps perhaps first make some quick wins, but always get something out. In the meantime, get feedback from the customers. And this is also for project management. Everything you do in an organization should be done iteratively and you should always get feedback from your stakeholders. The next principle is called start where you are. Um, you shouldn't throw away everything that you have, but you should instead look at what you have already and then do your improvement initiative based on what you already have. And you can, together with the principle of little steps, iterative uh, steps, you can then start from somewhere and always get better. And so you never have the risk of losing everything. You're always somewhere where some benefit is generated. The next principle is called keep it simple and practical. I mean, when you do something with IT services, IT technology, it gets complicated very quickly. And so you always have to make sure that it's still as simple as possible. This applies, of course, for the technology, but it also applies for any other topic like, uh, for example, pricing for customers. If you have a pricing model, pricing model should be simple and easy to understand for your customers. The next principle is called collaborate and promote visibility. Yeah, you have to make your project visible to everyone, especially for the important stakeholders. And these stakeholders, they can come from higher management or middle management, or even they can be the future users of your system. But it's always a good idea to tell them what you are doing. The next principle is called optimize and automate. And this is a topic, of course, if you have something that is some repetitive work, um, you can use, for example, business process automation to automate that, or you can use any other IT component, component to, to do that. And this is also something that applies for the work itself. When you are doing a project, you should use automation technology as much as possible. The last principle is called think and work holistically. This principle is not so easy to apply in practice. Why is that? Because um, organizations tend to be cut into little parts, organizational structures and or organizational groups. And these parts of the organization always get their own goals and they also get rewards perhaps based on these goals. And so there is a tendency, a very strong tendency to follow these goals and lose the holistic view of the whole organization. But it's a principle that always has to be called back and it's also a task of the higher management, of course, to see that everything is still done with a holistic view of the organization and not just with a very specialized view. Okay, that's all for the seven principles of IT service management. Thank you for watching.
I don't know about you, but remembering the seven guiding principles of ITIL has always been a fiasco for me. F like focus on value. I like progress iteratively with feedback. A like start where you are. S like keep it simple and practical. C like collaborate and promote visibility. O like optimize and automate. H like think and work holistically.